In today's video, I'll be eating an oversized gummy cola, drinking and eating Death Wish coffee, trying black water, plus more things you guys dared me to do in the comment section. For this first dare, you guys asked me to try out Death Wish coffee, and everyone knows that true coffee fans eat that shit raw. For this next challenge, I'm going to be trying out Death Wish coffee. Death Wish coffee is created by using the strongest combination of beans and a perfect roasting process. Each batch is freshly ground to the perfect consistency, then sent straight to your door. Some may say making coffee this strong is irresponsible. We like to think it's revolutionary. So I've got my handy dandy Keurig over here. I'm gonna brew up a cup of this stuff right now. And while it's brewing, I'm gonna see if I can take down a spoonful of it with no water at all. All right, it just looks like some normal coffee basically. It smells a little funky. That'll probably take a minute to brew. All right, so while that's brewing over there, I'm gonna see if I can take down a whole spoonful of this garbage right now. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh. Ah. That has got to be the new Death Wish coffee challenge. Oh my god. Whew. Man, there's nothing that can describe that. My eyes are watering. It's just to be fair, I drink a lot of coffee, and I don't know how strong this could possibly be, but I drink like a thousand cups of coffee per day, so this isn't really gonna phase me. But I was just so confident that I would be able to take this down, I had to try this. But then when I had it in my mouth, I really wanted to puke, and it was just impossible to try to swallow it, but because it was the first part of this challenge, I knew I had to get that part done. Otherwise, the whole rest of it might as well be a fail. So I had to just power through that. That was disgusting, though. You're not supposed to eat any coffee, especially Death with coffee, Oh my gosh, I'm starting to feel really jittery already and I haven't even had my first sip of this stuff yet. So I have here a cup of steaming hot Death Wish coffee and I'm going to try to take this thing down as fast as I can, which is probably going to just burn me more than it's going to caffeinate me. Mmm, but it is going to caffeinate me. Okay. All right, that's that. I got a little bit of uh, Death Wish coffee on me and a lot of caffeination in my face. Woo! Oh man. So they say that's supposed to keep me up for a few days. You, you know, with a name like Death Wish coffee, it makes me wonder if this was a good idea because I'm starting to feel a little bit jolted right now. Not only that, but it's supposed to give you explosive diarrhea. So the rest of the afternoon should be pretty fun. Holy shit, I've never felt this caffeinated before in my life. Oh my god, that hits you so fast. I figured it would take a couple minutes for it to kick in, but oh my god, it did not at all. Woo! <laughs> oh shit, this is crazy. Uh, it feels like I'm kind of high right now. Whoa. I'm, uh, I'm pretty sure that it's just from eating it though, because I don't think the drinking it really did as much. I kind of felt like this already before I started drinking the coffee, but now that I'm drinking the coffee, I feel way more freaked out. Oh shit. I think I might have fucked up. I'm not gonna lie, I like being caffeinated, and this is really doing the job. It almost, it almost makes me want to switch to using this coffee all the time. I like being caffeinated, but if you're the type that gets really jittery on caffeine, then you might not want to try this, because I definitely feel a little bit jittery right now, but oh my god, it's pretty good though. <laughs> All right, I feel like I should go and burn some of this energy off, so I might go for a little jog or something like that. After all the weird food challenges I've been doing, I could probably use one. And after I can calm down a little bit and start talking at a normal pace, we'll be on to the next dare. Next up, you guys dare me to eat another oversized gummy product. So I picked out what had to be my absolute least favorite gummy flavor and stuffed myself to the absolute max with it. And after taking the first few bites, I can really tell you that this thing actually tastes like cola. If that soda had been left out for months on end until it eventually turned into a gummy substance. But I'm not one to let food go to waste, even if it is completely disgusting. And I was definitely trying to get this thing done as quickly as possible. In my opinion, taking your time with things like this only makes it worse. But the worst part about this challenge was how sore my jaw was from all the chewing. Thick pieces of gummy are not easy to get through. But either way, it had to be done. And in the end, I'd say I probably breezed that challenge. I've eaten a lot bigger gummies. Hopefully soon, they can come out with a 2 liter size gummy cola. Next up, you guys dare me to try black water, which is a type of mineral water that uses fulvic acid. And that somehow makes it black. In other words, I might be drinking mud. So it's a few minutes after the Death Wish coffee challenge, and my stomach is feeling really upset. It just kind of sounds like my stomach is grinding itself up and just blah, 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 a bunch of noises. It's really disgusting. I don't like it. My stomach hurts, and I'm hoping that this BLK black fulvic acid water is going to do the trick as far as making me feel better. Um, it doesn't claim to do any of that stuff, but I'm just crossing my fingers anyways. A lot of people have been asking me to try this and see what it's like, so I figured I'd give it a shot, but more than likely it's just going to taste like some dirty water. It kind of just tastes like water, like maybe just like a little, little bit dirty, like I said, it's just like a little bit dirty water. 
Yeah, I'm pretty sure if I did a blind taste test, I would just think that this is water. I wonder why they felt it necessary to say that it's gluten-free water. The ingredients are just purified water with fulvic trace mineral complex. And there's two asterisks next to that, which basically means that that's not what that means. It is kind of weird though, I gotta say, to be drinking black water. The thing is, a lot of people have been asking me to try this, but I don't see a lot of people drinking this stuff. Which means that there's probably a lot of people that are curious to find out what it tastes like, but don't actually want to go through the process of buying it themselves. As far as the benefits of fulvic acid, I have no idea. But they swear that if you go deep beneath the surface and discover the power of fulvic trace minerals, then you'll have done that. I don't think it's any kind of miracle elixir, but more than likely just some water that's intended to stand out in the aisle so that you notice it over the other ones. My suggestion is that if you're looking for vitamins and minerals, take vitamins and minerals. And if you want to drink water, drink water. Or if you just like paying $7 a bottle, you can go ahead and buy this crap too. And that being said, we are onto the next dare. And I am always up for a good challenge, so leave me your dares in the YouTube comment section, Facebook, or Twitter. Links for those are in the description. And remember to get as crazy or as creative with these dares as you'd like. And if you're down there anyways, maybe you could like the video, subscribe if you've yet to have done that. And as always, I'll be seeing you guys in just a few days with a new video. Alright, thanks guys. Bye.